Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pretty Lies and Alibis. I'm Gigi for Root Loop. What you know? Did you know that the hashtag symbol is technically called an octothorpe? Did not know that. Yeah, so the octo refers to the eight points on the popular symbol, but the thorpe remains a mystery. Oh. One of the theories claims it comes from Old English, from the Old English word village, based on the idea that the symbol looks like a village surrounded by fields. So okay. and I'm going to start saying octothorpe instead of hashtag. Yeah, octothorpe, pretty lies and alibis. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Only our people would know that, though. So, that's <laughs> yeah. All right. So we want to give a shout out to our one of our sponsors, Two Cool T-Shirt Quilts. Go to twocoolt-shirtquilts.com slash pretty lies and alibis. Check them out. They'll know we sent you. And so we're going to jump back into these text messages. There's, I've been following the Husel trial, but honestly, it's very technical We've talked about this before. It's not anything we can make daily episodes out of. Kind of looking for a new trial to cover. Um, but in the meantime, I don't think it's something, you know, we can maybe update once a week. I was a little bold in thinking we could do dailies on that. It's lasting forever and it's all medical jargon. So we're watching that. But we're going to yeah, back it's up. It's different if it's like OJ Simpson and you're seeing all this evidence the whole yeah. time. Yeah, essentially, it's just, you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to come down to can Jose Baez convince one juror that yeah. his intent was not murder, it was compassion. That's where this case is going to end up. Yeah. Ultimately, the other thing I've been doing, um, I've been catching up on some Jody Arias stuff. She still has a very active web page. And she also is still selling her artwork and she blogs on there. So I maybe in the next few weeks, I want to get an episode together and kind of pick some things she's talked about in her blog and do an episode on her because a lot of our listeners followed that case really closely. And not much has come out in the news over the last few years about her, nor should it. She's in prison. But you can find some stuff online about her thoughts and things. So I'm working on that right now, too. So we're going to pick up where we left off. We're going to re read a couple of the last texts we did last night. So this is outgoing from Zoo Limit Lori on April the 13th, 2019. Um, previously, what, 2019. Oh, Lord, y'all. I Look, my 2019. I, I hadn't even filled it up since I've been back home. Um, so if you remember the last text from Lori, they talk about going through the different states and clearing those, I guess. They got 12 states done. So the next text, Zulema says, I'm glad you're okay. Yes, the Lord wants us to be patient. I'm learning that little by little. I've called a storm. Are you experiencing it over there? Love you and miss you. Text me when you get back. I have some things to share with you. Then that next day was September 21st when you had your visitation. From Lori, um, 414. Sorry, I lost you girls. I had it on September 22nd. The same day, Maroni... Moroni, sorry, met with Joseph every year for all those years before he got the plates. He first appeared to him on the 21st, but continued through the night to the 22nd. Then he always met with him on the 22nd. And she says that completes the revelation and prophecy. Um, she later says, please join us in Zoom if you can. Serena is with us now. So the next day on April the 15th of 2019. <laughs> she says, how are you? I hope all is well with you. Since I've been going to help you every night, is that why I wake up around 3 a.m. every night? And from Lori, she says, yes, it is. I've been calling you all the time. We just cleared Montana, Oregon, and Washington. You are always here when I call you. You are amazing. How are you today? Great. Tax day. No fun. I owe a lot, but oh well, what can you do? That's you again. Um, send me some tax angels, please. I mean, why didn't they just wait until the end of the world? Why are they worried about taxes? Exactly. You don't have to file, right? <laughs> no way. And then, she, then she says, thank you. Uh, from Lori, financial genius angels on the way. Thank you. 
Uh, from Lori on April 16th, how are you today? Did you feel me call you at about 10 a.m. your time? I was in the celestial room and we cleared Cali in Alaska. I was I, I were there. I don't know what that means. It was so cool. I think she's saying I wish you were there. Uh, it was so cool. From Lori again, you were there. It's, she's correcting what she was supposed to say. I love this. Last night at 3.30 a.m., I woke up again. I went back to sleep, and I had a dream of what's coming. Ash falling from the sky, floods, lack of water and food, the coalition restrictions and control over the people living in very bad conditions. It was gruesome. From Lori, sorry, babe, exclamation. That sounds about right. So, same day. Wow, it is soon. Lori says, yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. You're amazing. I'm glad my spirit can help. I'm still waking up at 3.30 a.m. laughing out loud. From go ahead. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I think I'm... Right. Go ahead. Uh, from Lori, don't know if you're busy, but calling your spirit to help clear some states now. Like, what are you clearing the states of? Zombies. Oh, my gosh. Like, what the yeah. world? That's what it was, if you remember. They were removing, yeah, yeah. It was the zombies. But you would, uh, oh my goodness, I'm speechless. Yeah. So you would think, okay, you're clearing all these zombies. Where do they go, Lori, Chad, and Zulema? <laughs> like, did it make the news that people five just, million zombies were found dead in <laughs> California? Like people just dropping in the streets because of yeah. Lori and Zulema. Yeah. Um. So Lori says, let's see, I think that's you. Uh, you said, go ahead, working, but my spirit will be there. Oh, and then she okay. says, yes. And then uh, Zulema, this is two days later on yeah. April the 20th. She said, I felt Satan came to stop me and he couldn't get to me. From Lori, that's awesome. And then on the 21st, hey girl, what's going on? <laughs> Melanie just sent me a message. Are you okay? Now, this is the time on this day, this is when Lori creates that fictitious email and sends to Chad about coming and speaking um, at the fictitious event in Houston. Ah. Uh, so, Lori says, send me some fire, girl. Sending fire right now. Now, the next day... Zulema says, I've been thinking about you a lot today. How are you? You okay? Lori says, yep, still working on it. Can you talk tonight? Yes, I can. I'm taking my kids out to dinner so we can spend some time together. But after that, I'll be home chilling. And then uh, a minute says, later, no. she sends the same message. I ain't going to lie. When I do that, it's one, because either I don't think it went through, or two, Somebody didn't answer me, so I sent it in. Yeah, and this was a minute later, so it's almost like, you know, sometimes you it'll say message did not send, and you click it. A lot of times I copy and paste and send again, and then they both go. Yep. Yep. So the next day, or actually two days later on April 24th, hey, love, how are you? Are you doing okay? Lori responds, I'm okay. How are you? I've been calling you. We have been clearing countries. Lori again on April 24th, working on the world, exclamation. We cleared over 660 million in the U.S. alone. Also did Canada, Mexico, and Greenland. What's Greenland done to her? Ain't nothing but ice up there, right? I know, right? Them people are freezing. Like, it's cold. Like, they probably appreciate some fire up there. <laughs> Look, they ain't no zombies in Greenland. It's too cold. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, same day from Zulema. I love to hear that. It's been a few crazy days. I had an intruder come in my house when we were at church. Luckily, my sister-in-law was here. I believe the person left weapons and time bombs in Kara's room. She got sick very fast. Dude, this is like... <laughs> it's hard not to laugh reading this. I mean, yeah. good grief. So then Zulema says, that's amazing. Wow, what fantastic work you're doing. Lori finally responds, that's crazy. 
And then Zulema, Chad told me it was a dark person human. I've been cleansing and casting for three days. It was probably Alex in that uh, in the, <laughs> that mask he wore uh, when he tried to shoot Tammy. It's probably who it was. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. Uh, Lori says crazy again. And yep, we need to protect ourselves all the time. They know who we are. Lori says, yes, they do, exclamation. I'm limping. JJ has a broken leg. Same spot they hit me. He's in a cast from hip to toe. It's a crazy war. I had forgotten that. If I knew that, I'd forgotten that. Um, you know, I th I'll have to ask Eric. Uh, but I think he did confirm that JJ did have a broken leg. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. He I was very that. active on scooters and stuff, so it's not out yeah. of ordinary. Yeah. And that was April. I don't think we saw many pictures or videos of him during that time. We know when he went to Rexburg in September, he was out running around. So, yeah. Um, so Zulema says, oh, my goodness, that's crazy, too. And then Zulema puts the little female symbol. Yeah. And says, we will win. So then we jump from April 24th to April 29th. Zulema Here's says, why. okay, tell us why, Fruit Loop. Because her and Chad fly to Houston. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, or they spent the get they spent the weekend together in Houston. Yep. That was the whole come, you know, the whole email. Da 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 da. Yeah, can you speak in our dates? Are right it's five days at least on here? It's five days. And I mean, look, here's the thing: it tells you that Lori knew if she were to email Chad and say, "Hey, babe, let's hook up for a few days." If Tammy saw that obviously there'd be problems. So it goes to show you that she's not so far gone that she doesn't know things are wrong that she's doing because she's covering her tracks. Yeah. Okay. We covered the, uh, oh, what's the guy, the, the serial killer we covered. Uh, his name just Ramirez. You know, yeah. We covered that. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's crazy, mm -hmm. but, mm. And, and truly evil. Like with him, mm -hmm. I, I said it when we were doing this. When I look at a picture of him, I have a reaction. Like yeah. it is, you can feel the evil radiating. This yeah. is just like Dungeons and Dragons for, you know, morons. Yeah. Essentially with a little Harry Potter thrown in. Thank you very much for ruining. Yeah, good that. job, Chad. Good job. Yeah. Um, so we jumped five days here because they were together in Houston to the 29th. Hi, beautiful. How are you? I've been thinking about you today. Are you okay? How are things going over there? From Lori. Hey, beautiful girl. I'm doing okay. Need some fire from you. Getting ready to clear some countries. Want to call me. We can do it together. Yes. Just let me feed my dogs and I'll call you. Okay, perf. <laughs> Look, oh I'm gonna tell you if every time I texted you and we text back and forth, hey beautiful, hey beautiful. Perf. So weird. Okay, perf. All right. So the same day, call me back. I couldn't get through it, went to voicemail. She probably called her own phone. <laughs> How From can you Lori. Which, you got like seven phones? You know, yeah. pick a phone. Which one? From Lori. Uh it won't go through. Talk about interference. I can feel it, and I just saw it. It's a legion trying to stop us. Then she says, I will be with you no matter what. I'm powering up, sending fire now. From Lori. Okay, I'm doing it now then. You will be here. You come every time. Then there's a photo sent uh, that we don't know what, uh, what it is. Then Zulema sends another photo back. Probably selfies. Hey, beautiful. Yeah. With maybe um, fire coming out, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Lori again on 429 says, Hope you felt that you are powerful, girl. And Zulema says, I love to send that fire. Then, same day, I was given a white giant feather in the temple last week. An angel came and handed it to me. After much research, I believe it means that I've reached a level and that the Lord is giving me his protection, shield, and buckler against the enemy. Lori responds with, I love it. That's so awesome. He is so great. We cleared all of South America, exclamation. Hundreds of millions of them. Yes, I love it. And then uh, we jump from April 29th to May 2nd of 2019. 
Hi, beautiful. Going into the temple, I found out yesterday that I'm traveling to the terrestrial realm and seeing women there. I would love to hear your experience with it if you have time to talk or text today sometime. Love you. Then the same day, I just wanted to know if everything was okay with you. Are you and your family okay? Lori responds on 5-2. Hey, pretty girl, we are hanging in there. Just finished clearing the world today. Ah, exclamation. It's a big deal. You are there every day part with me. We are learning and growing in our powers every day. How are you? I'm good. I'm starting to travel the terrestrial realm at the temple now. Although today I had a very different experience and I had the feeling that something may happen to one of your family members. So Lori responds on five to call me exclamation. I'll call you in a few, and then a few minutes later, I can't get through. It keeps going directly to your voicemail. So we skip ahead two days from May the 2nd to May the 4th. Hi, beautiful. Are you okay? Are the 18 out? Is there a new layer out? I was under attack this afternoon right after I had a message at the temple today. Could we try and do a call with you and Serena? Can you talk? So this time frame here on May 5th, this is when she Googles uh, the screenshot of the Malachite storm for her wedding bands. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So Lori says, yes, try to call me. The 18 are not out till Thursday, but since the DE are all gone from the earth, the entities are stepping it up. We just tried and it goes straight to voicemail. I sent you a Zoom invite on your email. Could you join us like that since the phone is not letting us? And then she says, what about this last Thursday? Were they out? So this jumps to the next day, May 5th. Apparently, they're either talking on other phones or she joined the Zoom. We can't hear you, love. We have major interference. Lori responds, sorry, I lost you. Can we try again in 15 minutes? Yes, I'm signing up for a paid account. We all got disconnected. I can get back on in about 20 minutes. Have to do some things for JJ. Okay, sounds good. I'll let them know. From Lori, hi, can you text me a list of the powers we are going to use? Uh, yeah, crystals, vibrating fire, ice, water, lightning, wind, stormy sky, and fiery cherubim. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> and then on hey, the that day, sounds that sounds like the all the different flavors of Mountain Dew now. I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> or Gatorade. Yeah. Uh, Zulima says, "I feel the ice is going to be the most critical because, as Mel said, it paralyzes them." I saw that on like uh, the Adventures of Link video game. All the video games have like freeze them with ice and fire. Yeah, and we know the majority of the time when they say Mel, normally it's Melanie Pulowski, uh that Lori calls her Mel. I wish uh, they would have called her Melanie's to make it easier for us. No, right? Gosh. So from Lori on 5-5, five five, I love it. That's so good. Looking forward to talking in the morning. Me too. It was great to see you today. Uh, Lori responds, I love seeing you too. How fun to have all of us together. Powerful. Zulema says yes and puts two of the female stick figures in the text. This is the same day because of transformation. I always like that crystal. It's beautiful. We jump to the next day, May the 6th. Is Garrett aware of who we are? Last night I had a very vivid and disturbing dream. I was at your house. It was a very big house and Garrett was there. You were there. Your daughter was there. From Lori on 5-6, he is aware. Yes, he uses a lot of weapons and tactics against me. It's a constant struggle. I forget who Garrett is. You know, I literally was just about to ask you. I forgot. Who's Garrett? I don't remember hearing that name. Mm, I'll have to think about it. I mean, it wasn't Charles because he was Ned or Nick or whichever day it was. Yeah. I don't remember. Hey, it's, the listeners will tell us. It's probably really obvious, but, you know. Well, I forgot the other night. I just brain cloud that Melanie Gibbs' husband was Brendan. And then Melanie Gibbs' oh. was Brandon. Yeah. So, I, I forgot that. Brendan. I was like, oh, she spelled something wrong. And then they were like, no, that's 
So our people keep us straight. So they'll tell us who Garrett is. I forget. Yeah, I I think maybe Garrett might have been Charles initially. He may have been. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. All right. So Zulema says there was a lot of people in your house. Yeah, I can see how that can be a struggle. He is a lot of help. Lori responds, how do you think I can clear them? Maybe that's what John was trying to tell me. You will cleanse and heal the earth, he said. I'm asking on how we can do this. I'll find out more and then we can work on it. Lori responds, perfect. I was told that that was John the Revelator. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, this helps me a lot. And then uh, later, Zulema says, I have more to tell you about my dream. I was actually in your house. It's very big, by the way. He, he has servants working for him, so he had a maid, a carpenter, a cleaner that I didn't see much of it, just that it was cleaning. Also, there, I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> were, did, did, were they dabbling in some LSD or something? Like I, this is Mario right here. Oh Secret my god, under the floor with there coins. Is, you can get the coins. I'm gonna throw a, a turtle a turtle shell at you, Fruit Loop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, there are secret compartments under the floors with three doors that open up to the right, up to the left, and then up to the right again. The flower beds are moving up and down. There's two of them. They looked like they were floating. Serena is doing a study oh, yeah. today on what we need to do to clear and clean your home and get rid of the servants he has. Could you get on the Zoom a few minutes early tomorrow morning? I'll be powering up until then. See, it's Mario, the little the little flowers that come up and down, up and down, I told you. <laughs> From Lori, yes, let's do it. Sounds like she takes as long to boot up as my computer does. For real. Uh, so, Zulema says, great. And then the next day on May the 7th, I sent a new link to you. Serena and I are already in. Boom. Do you want to stop here? Yeah, let's stop here. Okay. All right. Oh, look, there's just three more that they'll close this out. And then. Oh, okay. That, sorry. So Lori responds, it won't let me on. Can you send again? Please use the one that Serena sent yesterday. All of us are on. And then let's stop there. Yeah. Um, Madness. I'm telling you, it's like it's like 80s games times a million. Yeah, you could tell they grew up in the 80s. Yeah. Had them yeah. first Ataris and the first Nintendos mm -hmm. and um yep. man, man, man. You know, it's crazy though and I said this last night. Charles really had no idea what he was up against. He was writing letters and had this hope in his heart and we see now with this document dump, she was in left field out to lunch yeah. gone like checked out and man man man. i mean the, the sad thing is he says i love her too much i'm the only one trying to help her yeah imagine yeah. if her family had you know other than adam had banded together and done a big intervention what might have happened yeah. you know what but i mean summers believe in this whole stuff too Right. And then Kay and Larry, yeah. bless their hearts, had no clue what mm -hmm. was going on. Yeah. Not unless you were in this inner circle, did you know what no, was going on? No. No. And, you know, for me, I honestly wonder what Tylee knew because I know she was living at Alex at his place during mm -hmm. this, but she wasn't there the whole time and she was with them in Rexburg. And I've always wondered, did, did, is that something they kept from her? I, she, obviously, she wasn't dumb. She probably knew something crazy was up. I really do wonder, like, had to be hard for her to sit back and watch this unraveling of her mom. Yeah. And if you remember, Melanie asked her, does Tylee have a way to contact Adam? I think it was Adam or Charles. I know it was Adam. Adam or Charles, I think. Mm -hmm. And Lori responds, no. Well, she took Tylee's phone took after Charles phone. was murdered, right? Yeah. Isn't that when yeah. she took the phone? Yeah, so it was Adam and somebody. Does he? Oh, Brent, Brandon, Brandon, maybe. Brandon, Adam and Brandon. Brandon, yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you think about it. The kid has no way to contact anybody. Now, there were Facebook messages, and that's included in all this dump. Uh, and I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, we um, should go back and see if there's, there I know a lot Facebook of it was, were, it was redacted, some yeah. of it, yeah, but, it you know, and I, I kind of always will wonder, was Tylee murdered first because did she say, hey, I'm going to talk to Colby, I'm going to talk to this person, you're out of control, this is crazy, 
Yeah. You know, you have to wonder, and maybe we'll find out because they they're not super secretive digitally. So I don't know if we'll find a motive, like a for sure motive, but yeah. I'm curious. I think I really do yeah. think Tylee probably called her out on her bull hawk. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll be, yeah. we'll see. We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to do some more of these texts. And yeah. um, if anything happens with competency, we're keeping an eye on that. We can hop on. So um, all right, guys, have a good afternoon and we will see you soon.